high standard indeed. We can't wait for December 8 for mm. it to kick off. As I mentioned earlier, Messi Akide Udo will be joining us uh, this morning. She's a legend of the game. <laughs> she watched the Super Cup, the Super Falcons alive, you know, when they lost to South Africa on Tuesday. Obviously, she wasn't happy about that because the day before, there was this boost coming from all of them, the former players. Look, South Africa, come on, we're going to beat them. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't happen on Tuesday. Messi, good morning. It's good to have you join us. <laughs> good morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll just get straight to the point. I mean, the Super Falcons, uh, the game against uh, South Africa, even, it wasn't what everyone expected and reactions have been coming you know, from different quarters and all. What's your own reaction to that game and what advice will you want to give to the Super Falcons, you know, how they can bounce back from that defeat to move on, especially knowing that the qualifier starts in October, October 18th precisely, against Ghana? Uh, first, we have to go back. We can't take... <laughs> what has happened um, back, but we can look forward and uh, try to adjust some, some players, try to adjust some things that we did wrong on that game. So for me, I would say these are the same players that we are going to use for the games. So we shouldn't demoralize them um, for the next two weeks. We should encourage them so that they can come back, bounce back and, um, and play and win for us the way we want them to play. So as for me, I would advise that whatever the players they are going through, and I don't think they are going through a lot, not like us when we were playing that we have nothing. They've given them so much and much is expected from them. You should get themselves together and just do it. Yeah, interesting. Put themselves together and do it. That is what is important. Uh, Messi, you know, when uh, you were at the NFF Awards, when you guys were celebrated and everything, and we're thinking maybe that will also motivate them. And you mentioned that uh, maybe this same squad is what we're going to use. But there's some people that have been talking about injecting new players into the squad. How can they do this easily without, you know, letting go of the older players who have sacrificed so much for the country? For me, we have to start uh, refining our super falcons. And this is the way that we have to go. They might not choose my way, but I think at the end, it's going to help us. With our younger uh, falcons that are uh, in, in, in on ground, like the uh, U16, U18, U19, U23, um, after their tournament, don't just let them go like that. Pick the star players, make a, a team out of that and make them like an own base team. And things like this, we go there and go get a player. Not now everybody's saying, take this one out, take that one out. Who is, where, where is the replacement? So we have to groom them, like what the South Africans are doing. Um, I really give uh, Desiree plus because She's going and she's looking out for the younger ones. And right now, I don't think we even have, um, we have a league and I'm very grateful for the league, but we don't, we don't have a grassroots where we can say, okay, somebody's really hungry. When you are hungry, you can do anything for, for the game. So what I also saw is that there was no passion. We were losing, walking, you know, they were not tracking back and all of that. It, it just takes a lot away from the game. So that's the way I see it. Go back, we should go back, we should go back and start thinking, how did they get Messi Akire? How did they get Mavis Ogu? How did they get Inkiro Kusimi? How did they get, uh, get uh, Florence Omagbemi? Uh, um, uh, Pechen Favre, you know, those star players, Anna Gumano. How did they get us? I know me, they found me through um, the, the, the uh, grassroots, and then I came to Lagos. That's how they found me. So, they should go back again and, and revisit so that uh, we'll come back again as super Falcons. Because right now, our Falcons, with the we are not flying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Messi, kindly just uh, hold on, hang on for a, a couple of minutes. We need to go on a break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation on how we can make the Super Falcons better going forward. Join us again.
Hey, welcome back to Channel Sports. This morning, we still have an absolute legend on the show, uh, talking about Messi, Akide, Messiless, Marvelous, however you want to refer to her. Uh, she's an absolute legend of football uh, in the country, and she was uh, uh, you know, a, a part of the class of 1999 uh, that got honored uh, by the Nigerian Football Federation just a couple of days ago for reaching the quarterfinals of the World Cup, and now absolutely dominating uh, the continent as well, too, when it comes to women's football. Messi, before you went, before we went on the break, we were talking about how uh, the Falcons can't keep getting better, so these other teams on the continent don't catch up with them. Like we've seen in the recent, uh, recent years now, South Africa have closed the gap uh, on the Super Falcons, uh, uh, ended up beating uh, Nigeria right here in Lagos. Uh, they beat Nigeria in Ghana as well, too, at Alcon. And there are other teams on the continent that are putting in the work. Morocco is one of them as well, too. And of course, the rivalry between Nigeria and Ghana, it's well documented. Their next opponent, that's for the Alcon qualifiers, where one of those teams will not be making uh, the competition next year. And you've talked about going back to the grassroots and developing more players. At this competition that just ended, we saw two home-based players that shone like million stars, Monday Gift and Vivian Ikechiku. Yeah, so like what I was saying about the um, going back to grassroots, we, st we started it and um, hopefully that they should do more competitions um, I'm so grateful for the um, president wife hosting these four nations and to open our eyes that we still need more to, to be done for women football. Um, as for me, I would say that they should start playing school competitions. You know, we have people that can fund it. It doesn't take that much. Get the girls medal, get them trophy. Uh, play school competition, get them transport to the location. And I think that uh, from there we can find some stars because stars are born every day. True. So we can get some stars and start, you know, bringing young ones out because <laughs> look at me, I fade off. Look at 1999 now, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I'm still in the game, but I can't play anymore. All I can All right. do is to support. Uh, but I'm still in the game doing my own thing too by coaching. And I also think that bringing some of us that have played with played in Nigeria that are into coaching will also help because we know the dynamic of the team. We already know what our problem is. Mm. So our problem is is can be fixed, right. but it's just that we are not we are not looking at the problem. We're just looking for solution right now, 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 now. So it's not going to happen like that. It's going to take a little bit of time. And if you guys can recollect, um, they didn't have coach for a very long time there before they had this guy. So just going through circle of coaches can disrupt the dynamic of a team. You know, every coach have his own style of play, but the, the day we were watching the Super Falcons, I don't even know the style we were playing because I could I could understand the formation the South Africans were playing. You know when they were at, when we, they were attacking us, they they play four three three, and then when when we when they are defending, they are playing one five five uh, four. So, but we when we are defending, every everywhere is just a mess. We don't mm. even know what we were doing. We're just running. So all, those are all the things that we have to do. Even when they scored on, the, we, Nigeria scored on them, you could see there is a coach that called the defender that they, they are number four out of that group and was talking to the one on the side to fix that back. But mm. we, when they scored, on, we just like, there is no fire in us. Like we can't regroup. We, we don't know what to do. You know, we are confused. And those are things that were bothering us when we used to play. When they score on us, we go down. But when we score, yes, we have energy. You know, when you they score, when they score on, on, on you, as a good team, you have to recuperate again and talk and do what the coach said you should do. I don't think that uh, the coaching to we will be have to um, uh, reevaluate again, you know, and and see where the the coaches can help the girls because that's why they need them.
when the players can't think, the coach has to think for the player. But we were mm. still going through that problem. That's the mm. problem. Even in 1999, at the dressing room, at the locker room, it was this the same problem that we had when Brazil was beating us 3-0. We had to regroup ourselves, us as players, not even the coaches. We, we as the players, we said if we go down, it means that more stuff will go bad. So we have to pick ourselves up and start uh, playing the game the way it should be. But unlock, unfortunately, Patience Abre had a, a red card, and then Anna Gumano got injured. And then the CC, you know, CC with a <laughs> wonderful free kick just mm. got out. Got yeah. out. But yeah. you know, what, what we are saying, we are talking about our problem here, not all about us anymore because we played the game. But just from experience, this is the problem of the team. Right. Messi, you're spot on. Obviously, there's a lot of issues to be resolved uh, for the Super Falcons uh, going forward. But before we let you go, um, we saw some of your uh, former teammates uh, a couple of days ago during the NFF uh, honors uh, for the class of 99. Some of, some of them are into coaching already. Florence Magbemi, like you mentioned earlier, she's a coach now. Maureen Madu somewhere in India the last time I checked. Anne Aguman changing his coaching as well. Too. But for you, Seems you've been keeping a low profile in the last couple of years. And I, I know you said earlier that you're into coaching now. Can you tell us more about that? Where you're coaching? What exactly are you up to right now? Well, I'm coaching in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, I'm a head coach of uh, Regent University. Wow. Uh, and um, I've been with them for four years. And uh, also coaching for a club side, I'm the uh, technical director of the female department and also the assistant director of the club. So I've been doing this for a long time now. I just got my C license, you know, my wafer C license. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just trying to keep my, my profile a little bit low, <laughs> but now I think that it's time for me. It's time to come time up. For me. <laughs> yeah. And plus I have my two beautiful uh, daughters yeah. and, and that's why I was keeping uh, my profile low because they need me as a mom and you, and you guys know your you are married to the family so <laughs> so your brother is always gone so I had to take care of the family and take care of the kids but now they are growing so I begin to uh, do more stuff for me uh, yeah. the way the game needs me so and I also have a you guys know one time I came and I did like the play to learn yeah. uh, program for the girl's child. So yeah. I'm going back again um, to come back to do it for the girl's child. At, at least we will find some grassroots players mm -hmm. that can be the future of Nigerian football players for, for Nigeria and also um, take them to colleges in America to play. Mm -hmm. And so they can have knowledge. And that's my, my prayer and my dream for this program. Mm -hmm. So I just want to share that, that I'm coming back. The kids are <laughs> okay. grown yeah. now. So yeah. I'm coming back full form to make, be an advocate for women football, not just in Nigeria, but the whole continent of Africa. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Messi, <laughs> we can't wait to have you back to contribute your own quarter to development of football in Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us on Sport this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.